I'm addicted, wanna jam inside your love I wouldn't wanna have it any other way I'm addicted and I just can't get enough I just can't get enough Hey YouTube, welcome to Beauty From Within and today I'm doing another back to school look to go with my back to school series and this is just a nice simple look, um, just a nice pink on your lips with um, some brown eye shadow with um, brown eyeliner. You can kind of see my eyeliner, it's a little more on the dramatic side and it's but it still looks nice, neutral, perfect for every day or for back to school. So if you want to see how I did this look, just put my bangs out of the way so you can just fully see my face. First thing I'm going to do is just put on some moisturizer. And I'm just using this um, Mary Kay moisturizer just for dry skin. Um, I'm not using that much. I'm just using a tiny bit to just put all over my face. And make sure if you're going to be touching your face that your hands are clean. You do want your hands to be clean. Okay. So you're just going to go ahead and let that set for a little bit. And the key to having your makeup last all through your school day is a for the primer, primer I like to use. That and I think is the cheapest and also just works wonderfully is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused um, primer. If you guys watch my videos, you know I really, really do like e.l.f. And, um, yeah, so this is the primer I'm going to be using. Um, so I'm just going to get about that much on my finger. This was only, this primer is only $6, by the way. So you're going to rub it in all over your face, and then you want to let it kind of stick, sit and soak into your skin have started to like this one. I've barely started using it. It's the e.l.f. Flawless Finished Foundation and this was only six dollars I believe and I'm in buff and this is the probably the lightest liquid foundation I have tried. It has a pump and you can find it at eyeslipsface.com. Um, yeah this made me kind of start wanting to wear liquid foundation again and I'm just gonna be applying it with this just the sponge um, this is how I'd like to apply it. So I'm just going to put some on my hand, like about that much. And if I need any more, I'll go ahead and put more. But I'm just going to kind of kind of dot it around my face. And then I'll just start kind of blending it in. Can't get enough. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. Honey got a sexy on steaming. She give my hotness a new meaning. Perfection, mommy, you gleaming. Inception, you got a brother dreaming, dreaming. Damn, baby, I'm fiending. I'm trying to holler at you, I'm screaming. Let me love you down this evening. Love you, love you. Okay, so I find my foundation. It looks a tiny bit better now. Um, <clears throat> you can go ahead and put on any kind of concealer that you want. I use e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer, and I just put some of this, this lighter shade just underneath my eyes to make sure that I don't have, um, under eye circles. So that's it for my concealer. So next is the blush, and the blush that I feel looks so good, especially for school, is this e.l.f. blush, and it's from the studio line, it's called Tickled Pink, and it looks like this. You can see how absolutely gorgeous that is. I feel like this comes on so, so, so beautiful <clears throat> on your face, um, and especially for back to school because it's not too heavy, and I'm just using this powder brush um, to apply it. And it's just a flat top from e.l.f. powder brush. It's like about three dollars. Yeah, you know you are my demon. Girl, we could form a team and I could be the king, we could be the queen and my mind's dirty and it don't need cleaning. I love you long time, so you know the meaning. Oh. You can just see how nice that is. And when it comes to blush, take your time um, kind of blending it out. You don't want to look weird throughout the day. 
<laughs> there. Okay, so now we went ahead and applied our our blush. We're gonna go ahead and start with the eyes. Um, actually, before I do that, I always put on an Elf just spray this Elf makeup mist and set spray. Um, again. To help kind of your makeup last, a setting spray really helps, and this one's from Elf, so it's very, very affordable. So I'm just going to spray that a couple times and just let it kind of set into my skin, and then I'm going to continue with my eyes. Um, we are going to be using the Elf 100 palette, uh, it's one of my favorite palettes, so that's why I like to use it. Um, <coughs> So once that set, you can go ahead and just put on your primer, your eye primer. Um, I'm using Mary Kay's signature eye primer. I'm just going to make sure I put that um, all over my lid. Okay. So I'm going to start and just put on a base um, underneath my eyes and I'm just going to be putting on a base from the e.l.f. Um, Cream Eyeshadow Duo and this is the called Butter Pecan and you can just see how gorgeous those colors are. I'm just going to be putting on this darker one. It's not, it doesn't come out as dark um, on your eye so I'm just going to use my finger to just put that on just to kind of give me that gold undertone since we are going to be putting a brown on top of that it's going to have that kind of gold look underneath and I'm kind of spreading it up towards my crease um, and they have a bunch of these cream duos and they're just for a dollar so that's really nice so I'm going to go ahead and go into my Eyes of Space um, 100 palette which is only ten dollars at eyesofspace.com and I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow brush just normal flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to kind of go in this kind of pale brown color you can see how it's just like a pale brown color um, I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid make sure you tap off any access I'm just going to kind of pat it in and kind of bring it up towards my crease and pat it in my crease I don't want a really dark brown um, eye color because we are going to be putting on um, brown eyeliner, dark brown eyeliner, so we don't want to make the eyes look too dark, and we don't want anything too dramatic. We want something that can pass off for school and isn't really light. Um, yeah. So once I've done that, I'm just going to get this just blending brush elf blending brush and I'm just going to go into um, a lighter color and it's just this third color down which is kind of like this creamy color and I'm just going to go in there and just put it on my brow bone as well as kind of blend out any harsh lines that we might have So there you have the eyes, just this nice kind of gold color. Um, so it's really simple. And next I'm just going to be putting on the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner. And this is in coffee, which is the darkest brown that they do have. So it looks like this. And I'm going to be using just the um, eyeliner brush that comes with it. And I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of make, make a thin line um, by the lash, as close to the lash line as you can possibly make it. Baby, I can't come down, so please come help me out You got me feeling high and I can't step off the cloud And I just can't get enough Boy, I think about it every night and day I'm addicted, wanna jump inside your love Kind of thick, but not too thick, just enough to kind of show 
okay and once you do that you're basically done with the eyes you're basically almost done with the look you just need to put on a little bit of mascara I've really been liking this um, Bon Joyce Paris um, it's it's called mascara volume clubbing um, this is in Brune Remix, and it's just this brown color, and I've really been liking it. And for every day or for school, I tend to like to go kind of towards brown um, mascara, just because I feel like it looks a little more natural and less kind of dramatic, and it looks more like an everyday kind of look, rather than it looks like I'm going partying, you know what I'm saying? It's really nice. Okay, so last, of course, is your lips, and <clears throat> for my lips, I always put on Carmex before I put anything else on my lips, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't know why I always do that. Every time I put this on, I do that. I'm not weird, I promise. Okay, once I do this, you can go ahead and put on a any lip gloss that you want to use since we use so many browns I like to put on pink and I'm using this elf conditioning lip balm it's in mellow melon <sighs> looks like this it's this nice kind of watermelon pink and the good thing about it is that it's conditioning as well so if you want to skip kind of the conditioning first step you can and yeah so this is a finished look it's very natural it's very simple and easy um, I feel like for school it's kind of a little more dramatic because of the eyeliner and the brown but I feel like it's not too dramatic you have a nice kind of nice simple pink blush with a little bit of a pink conditioning lip balm and some big bold eyes and I really really like that um hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and yeah I'll see you guys soon bye I wouldn't want to have it in the way I'm addicted and I just can't get enough I just can't get